Okay, let's talk about NAS, which can be accessed uh, locally only, not over internet, no one can get into the NAS or the internet, no one can get out to the internet from the NAS. So to set this up, um, there, there there'll be a few different ways of doing that. So people, what people are doing right now, exactly after this uh, ransomware attack on the QNAP, people are rushing to disable their Quick Connect accounts, their uh, QNAP uh, CloudLink accounts, thinking that this was a vulnerability uh, for the NAS to be accessed uh, through the internet. But it's not the case because in a QNAP situation, there was a um, backdoor open, there was a hole in in their own software which was um, hyper backup. Nothing to do with um, Quick Connect, which is uh, or CloudLink, which is VPN actually connection. People just found a way uh, getting through the ports uh, and uh, getting through this application all into the into the NAS. So to, to disable that, uh, the easiest way I would find is using a router setting. So there are two options. One thing is uh, uh, Netgear uh, with a Circle uh, software on it, which is for kids, for family, controlling which devices can access internet and which, which ones cannot and how, for how long and, and what rules and what websites. So you can actually set uh, rules for the NAS that it can only pull uh, updates from the Synology or QNAP uh, update server where you can get firmware or, or app updates and nothing else. Uh, or you can have no internet at all. So you, you got this uh, option there. But I'm gonna focus more on Synology product, uh, which uh, offers exactly the uh, same, same similar thing, where you can block what sort of content can be pulled from the internet and what cannot be. And uh, at what hours you can have internet and can you have internet at all? Can you have just a LAN connectivity, local network, and that's it. So there are two models uh, of the routers you can get from Synology, one is MR2200AC, and other one is RT2600 AC. So the, the difference between these is really coverage and ports at the back. Uh, both of them got exactly the same functions. They are as fast as, as, fast as each other. MR220 AC, these are meshed uh, systems, which means you can actually mesh them together. One, two, second, third one. If you got brick property and garden and garage and stuff, you can extend your network. Same like all these Wi-Fi extenders, but this is a mesh, which means you wouldn't have this uh, transferred between one device and one access point and other access points can be smooth. You're not going to feel that you are switching over. So RT is um, slightly different. It connects with these mesh points. You can mesh together two RTs, but you can do RT and MR model. But uh, enough of that. <laughs> Let's uh, set uh, this up maybe. So if you go into uh, Synology router, you can install safe access thing. And once you have done that, you can add new profile. So you can click add uh, user profile, click next, and then you can do, for example, Synology. In this case, we're gonna try to block Synology from the internet. So if you click next, we will need to find where the Synology is. So most of the time you'll see its actual name or MAC address or IP address. This is how you can detect which, which one is which. So once you have found it, tick the box, click OK, and um, that's it. You have added this profile for your Synology. Mm, you can add multiple devices under the, sa under the same profile. So if you've got two, three NASs, if you've got any other device you want to control, you can create separate profiles and group them underneath the one. So once you have done that, you can just um, click pause all. So if once you have done that, that means at this point, Synology doesn't have any more internet access. So you can access it um, through your network. So if you go into, uh, for example, your computer, uh, this PC, this Synology was with IP address uh, 123. So here you go, Synology video. So you can go inside, so you can see all files. So you can, you can access this NAS through your network. You can keep on doing things what you were doing. But if you want to try to get some updates, for example, from the from update center, then uh, this is what's going to happen. Go to package center, let's refresh it, close, open it again. There's no internet connection. So you can't communicate to the uh, to the app center, to the firmware server, anything. Uh, so effectively, we have disabled internet for your Synology or QNAP or any other NAS device.
you, know, you can go boring details if you want to uh, simply disable uh, certain websites or disable everything and enable only Synology app uh, server or update server you can do that you can go to web filter enable that and uh, do custom filters and uh, whatever you can add you can add which websites only can be accessed so effectively this what I found this is really the safest way of doing things that um, you can enable access only to certain websites certain IP addresses at even certain times so um, this is how you can keep your NAS safe <laughs> and in a very simple way um, I hope this was helpful uh, if you got any questions you can always go to NAS Compares fill the form there send the email to info NAS Compares and uh, if the question will be interesting we're gonna come back with a video like this and help others as well I hope this was helpful and cheerio